What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Happy M3 day. Apple released and really discussed all of the new M3 chips, the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max chips last week that they're putting in the new iMacs and MacBook Pros. Having said that, we've used a 14 inch M1 Pro for a couple years now. We finally decided to upgrade and got this baby in house now, the new 16 inch M3 Pro with the base configuration for that in that new space black colorway. We have the space gray. We'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison showing the color differences. But yeah, I wanna go ahead and unbox this in this video and show you how it works. A lot of videos out there from other influencers actually were sent these from Apple in the Max configuration to compare to last generation's product. A lot of people aren't gonna be spending and splurging, you know, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $6,000 on these machines, the general public is probably going to go with the regular M chip or M3 Pro. So that's why we went with this. We'll see truly in a day-to-day -day routine how it handles workflows and stuff like that. That'll be a long-term review coming on the channel later. But for today, like I said, let's unbox this baby and check it out. So here is the packaging for that new 16 inch MacBook Pro in space black. And sure enough, those leaks were correct. This was that wallpaper they showed us on screen and what is on the packaging itself. And like I said, this is the actual 16 inch variant with the M3 Pro chip, 18 gigs of unified memory. And I am super excited to see how this operates. This does have the 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU, 16.2 inch display, li liquid retina display, same song and dance we've known for a while now. Two tabs on the side to pull to open. One and two. And I can tell you right from this packaging, it is hefty. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with the 16 inch, don't know how it was prior. I assume it hasn't changed too much, but now this uh, is substantially larger or heavier than that 14 inch was we had. And yeah, definitely, definitely has some heft to it. So we'll take this to the side for a second and put it right down. With the 16 inch MacBook Pros, you are gonna get the faster charging brick here. And as you can see, this is 140 watts out of the box. You can actually upgrade these when you configure it on Apple's website. I think it's about a few dollar increase depending on which package you're coming from to get this brick, but you can upgrade it if you so choose. Again, while we're unboxing this, if you think you're, you're gonna grab one of these, make sure to use our referral links down below. It definitely helps out the channel. You can buy from Amazon, Best Buy, they all help. We greatly appreciate it. And as Apple has been doing here as well, we have a nice new space black color matching USB-C to MagSafe cable. And I really like the looks of this. It's a nice long cable um, as it was in the prior generation, but this color matching is really, really nice. Aside from that as well, we're gonna have our reading material in here and probably a couple stickers, I would guess. Let's see. So reading material, oh yeah and some space black stickers. Those are cool. It's actually on some thicker paper this year also. So if you're a sticker collector, these will happily join you in your collection. So let's set that over here and open this up. And there is that first look on that space black colorway. And we got to do it right off the bat. The fingerprints, Huge, huge improvement right off the back on the bottom. And there is the front and you can see it's getting there, but it's not too crazy. I don't have the most oily hands, but they do get warm and I'm surprised they're not showing any fingerprints. That was a big ordeal in last generations. So there you go. I think this definitely looks good. It is by no means black. It is a super dark gray, um, which I actually think makes the laptop look even better. So, go ahead and remove the screen covering. And there you go. Yeah, this is definitely a nice looking computer. So as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get everything set up. That's it for this quick unboxing. You know what it's running. You know all the software inside at this point. Let's go ahead, get it configured, and we'll give you our initial feedback in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.